Okay, so uh, this one I actually told Yona that I was going to do this differently, okay? He uh, he wanted to solve for J. He got a different value here, and I want to I wanna try this out solving for J. Um, so the J would be here. So what that means then, if this is on the opposite side, so let's say that you just arbitrarily chose J to solve for instead of L. Okay, now why am I using the law of cosines in the first place? Again, I'm going to slow down a little bit. Um, it is because it's a side, side, side. So the only way to break into and get angles for this is to use the law of cosines. And we're going to have to, this is basically the hardest uh, part of the law of sines and cosines. You've got to, when you got a side, 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 that's when you got to solve for this guy buried inside the formula. So what you do is you go ahead and execute this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of change it up so that I'm no longer solving for L. I'm going to solve for J first. All right. So if I do J, that means that this guy actually, um, okay, if J, that means this guy would have to be, if I call that a C for my formula, this would be lowercase C. Uh, this would be, I don't know, B, and then that would be capital B, and then this would be capital A, and this would be lowercase A. So I'm just going to label them pretty much arbitrarily, but I do want to shoot for J. So let's do that. According to this, I would have 21 squared, okay, um, minus, minus 11 squared, minus 24 squared, okay. All right, negative 256. Now, I'm going to divide by negative A times B negative 2 divide by negative 2 times a times b okay 0.48 repeating so with that then i know that cosine x has to equal that so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do the arc cosine of that number and I get 1.06, okay? And what does that mean? What did I do wrong? Um, that's in that's in radians, that's why. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, try that again. Let's go back to mode and go to degrees. All right, and now we will try that again. Second, that guy. And we get 60.99, so that's 61. So J is 61. Okay, so J is 61, cool. What about L? All right, so um, L would then be, uh, oh man, we gotta do it again? No, we'd have to figure out what um, what Y is, because we or L is, because we know J. So let's try this now. We've got, um, let's solve for, solve for L. So the 24 over the sine of L, which we don't know, equals uh, 21 over the sine of 61. Okay, is that what we got? Well, we don't know because we didn't solve for that. So here um, I'm going to do uh, 24 times, oh, 24 times the sine of 61 equals that. Then that gets divided by 21. And I get one, almost 1. Okay, so almost 1. So I need to do the arc sine of that. So arc sine of this guy is 88.3. All right, now this is actually what Yona got. Okay, so this is wrong because when he showed it to me, it makes complete sense. And I don't know where they, they use the law of cosines here to get 91.7. Um, so my guess is that they trim some decimals. So those of you that were a little confused with the study guide here, okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. Um, I'm actually going to calculate this out. Okay, so um, bear with me here. 
minus 11 squared, okay, minus 21 squared, okay, take that, divide by negative 2 times 11, Time, oh, no, 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 we got to do parentheses there, uh, times uh, 21, okay, that's it, okay, that's what they have here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the arc cosine of that. I'm going to take all of those decimals and let's see if we get this. 91.7. Well, isn't that interesting? What does that mean? How can we have a three degree difference? 91.7 minus we've got a three and a half degree difference that does not add up okay that is very fascinating and I I'm trying to think of why that's the case we don't have to worry about the ambiguous case okay I might have to, hmm. That is tricky. Tricky trick. Okay, well, um, man, this is an absolute conundrum. So how about that? Um, well, I don't want to make a video with me sitting here um, going hum. So I guess I, I have not seen this kind of discrepancy. Okay. Like it shouldn't matter what angle you choose to solve from, you should be able to do it. And I just don't think that decimal differences should produce such a large result, a difference in result. Because three degrees in the big in the big scale of things, that's that's big. You know, three degrees is is different is definitely the difference between, um, like for example, like uh, ramps for uh, for wheelchair ramps. They actually have to be uh, at least a um, or as low as a three degree uh, gradient. So this this could be the difference of being legal and illegal. Um, so that's that's kind of a big deal. Hmm. Wonder why. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna have to move on. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to write some. <laughs> I'll ask Chat GPT in a couple minutes. Um, let's see. Uh, AC and we're gonna go here this is a side angle side side angle side is perfect for law of cosines so um, the only side we're gonna get is this guy and that's exactly what we want you always get the side that is exactly opposite of the angle that is given so side angle side is perfect pop that in you're gonna get this all right this guy is a uh, angle uh, okay, actually, this is an this is a side side angle. Okay, a side side angle. Now, if it is a side side angle or an angle side side, however you want to look at it, you're going to have to watch out for ambiguous cases. Okay, so remember that you can get two values here. So you're going to go ahead and get that. You're going to get the sine equals 0.771, but you are in the first quadrant, okay, over here, and you are in the second quadrant. Either one is an option. So what you got to do is do it in the first quadrant first, okay? What are you going to get? Okay, you're going to get the uh, inverse sine of 0.771. All right, that's 50.4, which is what we got. Looks like the 50.4, they rounded. Oh, I need another seven. Got it. Okay, so 0.7771. Okay, there it is, 51 degrees. Okay, so this means I got 51 here, but also it means that I could have 51 here. Okay, now this right here is 51. So what you want to do is you want to take 180 and subtract that 151 so that not only will you have this guy, you will also have that angle. Okay, because that could be a possibility. Now it looks like they got 129, but why didn't they cross it out? Well, let's see. 
Okay, if this is 47 and that is 129, okay, 47 plus 129 is not 180. It is less than 180. You are safe. That is an option. If it was 180, then it would not be a triangle. It would be a flat line. Anything 180 or above would be a flat line or not even a triangle. So that's why they kept this guy. So watch out for the ambiguous cases. It always happens here, okay? So um, tricky one, okay? And I really didn't understand this until I got to college, actually. So uh, it seemed like you guys had a pretty good grasp on it. So that was great when I saw you guys understand that. Um, but, you know, watch out for it on tests. You could have two possibilities. Okay, um, this guy is, you got a decline. Here's the setup. Okay, we got a side, side, side. It's got to be a law of cosines, but this is the only angle you're going to be able to get. When you get this other angle, though, I do believe that once you've got that angle, you can use this as 42. So therefore, when you get to the Y, because you want to know the maximum height, okay, you want this guy is O over H. This, these are the, these are the things that you got. You're going to ignore the 132 because he is the entire distance, and you only used him to to break into that degree uh, to get into the degrees of that angle. Okay, so here's how we're going to get 85. Okay, we drew this. Um, this is the law of sines. Actually, this was kind of a lot easier than I thought. It, the picture is hard. Okay, but honestly, I'm not going to have any pictures. We're kind of running uh, out of time for, especially for the seniors. So I don't want them to spend too much long, too long on a test. Um, just know that in their field, if they encounter something, uh, you know, um, you can always, you know, look it up. All right, we'll stop right there.